Hi, this is Joe with The Sound Professionals. Today we're going to be working with the SP-USB Mic Model 6 or the SP-USB HG. The first thing we want to do is install the drivers from Audio, uh, excuse me, from Android Electronics, the Audio Commander. Uh, they may have come on a CD included with your microphone. Uh, we're going to show you how to get it off the internet from Android Electronics' website. So you're going to open a web browser here and you're going to go to andreaelectronics.com and you're going to hit software and then this first one here audio commander for XP Vista and 7 now we're doing all this before we plug in the USB mic so this is before you plug in the microphone so to continue hit download now and wait for the page to load Right, so the proper using the, this with is the USB SA. Fill in the email. Terms of use. Hit submit. Hit this download now button, and you want to save it. It's very important that you save that instead of run it. Okay, so hit save. And I've done this a bunch of times, so I'm going to rename mine hit save. Once this is done saving you'll then have an option to run which is basically going to run it off your hard drive as opposed to just running it straight from Andrea. So once you, after you hit save, now hit run. And this is going to install Andrea Electronics uh, Audio Commander on your computer. So hit yes. It's going to extract the files from the what you downloaded. And start with install wizard. Yes, agree to terms. It's installing. I still have not plugged in the USB mic. This is all we do all this before we plug in the USB mic. So it's installing the drivers, and we have finished installing. So you can minimize your web browser. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and hit Control Alt Delete, and then hit Task Manager, and you'll see Audio Commander here in your processes. So go ahead and end that process. If it doesn't come up straight on the Processes tab, it'll it might come here, Applications tab. You can go to Processes and it'll be listed there. You can close that. All right, so now uh, you may have been prompted to restart your computer. Uh, if you were, I highly recommend you do that. Uh, I wasn't prompted because I've installed this before, but for new users, uh, go ahead and restart your computer. So once you're booted back up, what you want to do is go ahead and plug in your USB mic. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so you might get this little symbol and you also might get a message like installing drivers for USB device and that should come up with a message like uh, drivers installed correctly or devices ready to use, something like that. If you get any kind of error messages, uh, give us a call and we'll help you from there. Otherwise, continue along with me here. So now that we have the USB mic, the HG or the mic model 6 plugged in, let's run Audio Commander. So to do that, you hit your start button, all programs look for a folder called Android Electronics here and then Audio Commander. So it'll come up with this this little window here. So yeah, here's my message, devices ready to use. Okay, so basically Audio Commander, if you've never seen it before, it's just a more simple program to control the sound settings for your computer. Uh, you're not going to see anything different than if you were to go to Control Panel Sound. Uh, it's just all in one window here as opposed to the tabbed window for our windows. Uh, so we have our playback, we have our playback volume and our playback device. Uh, recording volume and device. This is a graphic equalizer, don't have to use it, in fact you can hide it by hitting this button. And we have a handy audio recorder which we'll use later. So the first thing we want to do, because it's something that everybody will change, is make our default recording microphone the USB mic model 6 or USB HG. So to do that uh, if it's not already selected, you can click on this blue text here, light blue text, and I'll bring up the sound window on the recording tab. So we have some options in here. Um, you're going to have different ones than me, but you should all have one that says Microphone Array Andrea Pure Audio USB SA. That is the USB HG or the Mic Model 6. That, that is the name of it. 
So you, we want to use this as our default recording device because this is our USB mic. We want to use this to record. So you click it once to highlight it and hit set default. The green chick will move to it and now it's selected as our default recording device. So go ahead and hit OK. Now <clears throat> this level here now has become the volume of the microphone. So you want to push that all the way to 100% like I just had. Blue dot should be all the way to the plus. Uh, now you'll see this button here is your microphone enhancements button. So this is pay attention to me here because this is important. If you do not have this microphone boost slider down here, if this did not show up or if this looks any different than it does for me right now, uh, you your drivers may have not installed correctly. Uh, we've been having a problem with some installs of Andrea of Audio Commander. So if it does not look like this, especially if it does not have the microphone boost, uh, what you need to do is stop the video, go and look in our YouTube channel for the Andrea Electronics Audio Commander uninstall video, watch that one, follow the directions, and then come back and reinstall Audio Commander. Uh, like I said, your drivers may have installed correctly. Uh, and basically, we're just going to rinse and repeat uninstalling and reinstalling until you get the correct install. Uh, short answer is we don't know why it happens, but we have been able to get it eventually to work for everyone. So you just have to uninstall and reinstall a couple times, hopefully less than a couple, uh, to get this correct. But if it did install correctly and you have all this, then you can continue. Uh, so the default settings we say is to uncheck everything. If you have anything checked like noise cancellation or acoustic echo cancellation, you can go ahead and uncheck them. Microphone boost, you can, this is again, this is going to depend on your situation, how much extra you need. I'm going to put it right in the middle of that plus 15. That seems okay for me. Uh, if you are, if you need a little louder, you can, it goes up to plus 30. So feel free to use that. I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave it at plus 15. And to close this microphone enhancements window, you go ahead and hit that middle button. Again, so our recording volume is at 100. We have the USB mic uh, selected as our default device, and microphone boost is at least plus 15. And no enhancements other than that selected. So now we need to choose our playback device. This one's going to be uh, whatever you'd like it to be. Uh, usually, we have people who want to monitor via their internal sound card, meaning it'll come out of their speakers on their laptop or their computer or their headphone jack. Uh, to do that, uh, you can go ahead in here and here's all your playback devices. I'm using this device, uh, but you may have something like this, like speakers, Realtek, High Definition Audio, or IDT Audio, something like that. And you can select that and hit set default. I'm going to continue using this, so I'm going to hit cancel. I don't need to change anything. And this is your playback volume. So this is going to de determine how loud you listen back to something. Uh, if you you know need it louder, you can push it up. If not, you turn it down, whatever. So one other thing to do in here is regardless of whether what device you're using to play back, uh, there is the real-time monitoring function, which is in here. So speakers, Android, Pure Audio, USB SA. Again, this is the name of the USB mic model six or the HG. So instead of selecting as a default device, we're just gonna open the properties for it, which is a double click. See how the green check didn't change, so we're just into the properties of the device we're not using, uh, except for real-time monitoring. So the way you do that is, you go to the Levels tab in the Speaker Properties, and you'll see here we have Microphone Array. So this is the volume of the real-time monitoring. This is the volume of the what the microphone is picking up being played back out the headphone jack of the USB mic. So to turn that on, you uncheck the mute here, and push that microphone level up. Uh, word of caution, uh, you cannot real-time monitor with uh, external speakers. It has to be with headphones uh, or you'll feed back. So make sure if you're going to unmute this that it, you do have headphones in and not like, speakers. So once you do that, you can hit OK and OK here. And now we're ready to do a test. So go ahead and hit this button here. Sampling rate of 44100 stereo. And you can see here I'm getting waveforms, I'm recording my voice, and everything looks good. I'm going to hit stop and play. And you can see here I'm getting waveforms, and it played back fine for me. So that is the install of the USB HG or the USB Mic Model 6 on Windows 7. I'm Joe with Sound Professionals. Thank you.